That's right, Rob. All three were brought here to the University of Chicago Medical Center for treatment following the shooting, and it is here where the younger of the two women shot passed away. Police saying that this was a murder slash attempted suicide that took place shortly after an argument broke out earlier this morning. Police today spent hours combing through evidence both inside and outside this Greater Grand Crossing home, where sometime before 9 a.m., they say two women, 53 and 32 years of age, were shot multiple times following an argument with a 34-year-old man who was also inside the home. I was uh, on the phone, and I did hear something like a firework sound, but I thought nothing of it. Next door neighbor Lisa Robinson Allen says she just moved in a few months ago and doesn't know the neighbors well. Police have requested her home security footage as they seek to put together how the chain of events unfolded. Uh, after the shooting uh, that he ran out the back door with the gun, uh, what transpired before he shot himself when the police... The shooter's weapon was recovered next to the garage in the alley where police tell us he shot himself in the head. It remains unclear what the relationships between everyone were, though it appears this was the older woman's home. The 53-year-old woman and the shooter at la were last reported to be in critical condition. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.